Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create advanced filters that will allow you to filter data using multiple AND and OR criteria. To create an advanced filter, however, you must first create a criteria range within which you'll enter the criteria for your fields. A criteria range is a duplicate of the header row of your database or list that is separated from the rest of the database in a spreadsheet. It must contain a copy of the header row of the database or list which you are going to filter. So usually you can insert some additional rows at the top of your spreadsheet first. and then paste in a copy of your header rows. Now it's important that you must leave room between the criteria range and your database. They're not allowed to touch. This is very important for the filter to work correctly. You must also have at least one row that's available into which you can enter the criteria and make sure that it's directly beneath the criteria range's header row. Now as long as you've created a criteria range that consists of one top row of criteria labels and at least one row where you can enter criteria conditions, then you can use this criteria range to create an advanced filter. The criteria range must be at least one column by two rows in length. Names in criteria rows must be spelled exactly as they appear in the list or database, but are not case sensitive. You can create as many criteria ranges wherever you like, but you can only apply them one at a time to filter the selected database or list. Before applying the filter, you must enter the necessary criteria conditions under the appropriate fields. You're strongly encouraged to use the comparison operators and wildcard characters. Enter your first cr criteria under the appropriate field in the row directly beneath the criteria range. When you've created a criteria range and entered in at least one criteria that you would like to use as a filter, you are then ready to apply the filter. To apply the filter, select a cell within the database or list to which you want to apply the filter, then select Data, Filter, and Advanced Filter from the menu bar. This will launch the Advanced Filter dialog box. At the top, in the Action section, choose the Filter the List in Place option button. The list range should already be selected for you and it should show a reference to the list or database that will be filtered. All you have to do is click the Collapse Dialog button at the right end of the Criteria Range text box and then click and drag over the entire Criteria Range to select it. Make sure your selection encompasses both the labels and the criteria used in the Criteria Range. Then click the Expand Dialog Box button to expand the dialog box back to its normal size. Then click OK to filter your list based on the criteria you supplied. To remove the filter after applying it, just click into the Filter Data and then select Data, roll down to Filter, and choose the Show All command from the menu bar. This will then display your unfiltered records in your list or database again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.